Today on Sci Guys, comparing surface tension. Welcome to Sci Guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Teresa, and today we're revisiting surface tension by comparing various liquids. And we're going to use the stolen pennies again. We haven't been caught yet. As mentioned in the previous episode, surface tension is a tendency of a liquid to resist external forces such as gravity. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes a whole bunch of pennies, an eyedropper, an empty bowl to store your liquids in, food coloring if you want, and you can use any liquids to compare, but the liquids we're going to be using are rubbing alcohol, baby oil, lamp oil, dish soap, and a few items from the pantry and fridge. The items we're going to need from the pantry are extra virgin olive oil, honey, corn syrup, vegetable oil, and chocolate syrup. From the fridge we're going to grab cream, and maple syrup. While we're not working with anything hazardous today, it's always a good idea to wear an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes. To start this experiment off, take your eyedropper and your first liquid, in this case we're using water with some purple food coloring in it, fill your eyedropper with your liquid, and gently drop one drop at a time onto the surface of your penny. Keep track of how many drops it takes before the bubble of liquid bursts. Now let's look at how many drops of liquid it took before each individual liquid's bubble burst. Water's count was 42 drops, and rubbing alcohol had 29. Dish soap took 26 drops, cream 39, and olive oil 33. Next to the syrups, corn syrup took 22 drops, honey 25, and maple syrup 20. And finally we have a few more oils. Lamp oil was 19 drops, baby oil was 24, and vegetable oil was 32. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. The droplet of liquid on our penny contains lots of liquid molecules, and all of these molecules want to stick close together. The force that keeps them within close proximity to each other is known as cohesive force. Cohesion happens between all molecules in a liquid, but because the molecules in the middle of the droplet pull each other equally in all directions, they generally cancel each other out. However, the molecules at the surface of the droplet have air molecules above them, instead of liquid molecules. This causes the cohesive bonds between the molecules at the surface to be much stronger than those in the middle of the droplet. The stronger surface bonds generate a net inward force pulling the surface molecules toward the middle of the droplet, keeping the surface area of the droplet as low as possible and its molecules close together. This strong inward force causes the molecules on the surface to contract and resist being stretched or pulled apart, creating an almost elastic tension at the liquid surface, which is known as surface tension. Surface tension and its inward force is what gives the droplet its dome-like shape. Gravity presses down on our droplet, and when the surface area is small, the cohesive forces within the droplet are much stronger than gravity, and the droplet is able to hold its shape. The more liquid we add to our droplet, the more molecules are added, and the larger the droplet's size and surface area gets. As the surface area of our droplet increases, the amount of force that gravity exerts on our droplet also increases, causing the cohesive forces inside the liquid to struggle to hold its shape. Eventually, when enough liquid has been added to our droplet, the amount of gravity pushing down on the droplet will overpower the cohesive forces within the liquid, causing the droplet to pop and its liquid will spill over the edges of the penny. Some liquids have stronger cohesive forces than others. The cohesive forces in water are some of the strongest because of its polarity and its hydrogen bonds. The stronger the cohesive bonds are in the liquid, the larger the droplet will grow before it pops. That's it for comparing surface tension. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. And be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.